Have you ever found the perfect model and you're like, sweet, I'm gonna print this, but then you go to slice it and what the flapjacks? And then it dawns on you, this thing isn't manifold. It has self-intersecting and overlapping geometries. There are loads of cloud-based sites that entice you to upload your models, but what if you don't wanna use the cloud or sign up for yet another service? Luckily, we have a better option with Blender. Healing an object in Blender is really quite easy. We're just going to enclose the object with the cube and do a Boolean. So let's get rid of the light X and the camera X, and then bring in the object that we want to do a Boolean operation on. So first let's take a look at what's wrong with this object. Let's go into the wireframe mode here and you can see these areas down here, um, it's obvious that features have been added, just overlaid, uh, vertices overlaid, and it renders okay, but if you actually try to slice this thing, those self-intersecting geometries create all sorts of, of angst, or can anyway. So let's, uh, let's heal this thing. Um, the first thing we wanna do, let's go back into shaded mode, is uh, try to sort of center this object on that cube, and you can hit the G, like Y key, to constrain it to the Y movement and then uh, sort of G, Z to sort of move it up a little bit. All right, now let's select the cube here and then with the mouse near the center of the cube, S scale and then board cube that thing. Let's scale up more to enclose the entire house and we can go back into wireframe mode to see that. Then it's quite simple from here. Um, let us, I'm gonna highlight it so you can see the changes as they happen go to the um, modifier and add a Boolean, click on self, intersect, and then the cube. Now it's gonna think about this for a few minutes while it makes these changes and you'll see this uh, object change as soon as it's done. It might take uh, a minute or two. And then after the preview, we'll just apply and then delete the cube. There you can see the model updated and now all we have to do is apply which is gonna cause it to do the same calculations again. I'm not really sure if there's a way to avoid this double uh, whammy, but um, as soon as this is done, the object is healed, can be exported. And that operation completed, we no longer need the cube, so we'll click on that and click X and it's gone. Now we can just simply uh, export the fixed object. Let's see, so that we can import it back into the slicer. There we go. Now I'm going to go back into Kirimoto and delete the offending object and then import the fixed or healed object and uh, rearrange that and when we slice it we now get the expected behavior which is the object is uh, healed and manifold and fully solid and um, and then we're done. So I uh, hope that helps and uh, look forward to your feedback and comments below.